what does he need to do right now, Simon? Win. Yeah. <laughs> Simple as that. Right. And what do we think about his opening? Wow. Interesting. Yeah. B3, not 1B3, which uh, has become famous as a mix. You can even challenge that pawn on E4. I think that's probably the most uh, um, direct move, even with the pawn or with the knight as well, knight F6. And play D5, the other D5, one. D5, yeah. And I, I think this is following. We we're talking about Bobby Fischer, and it's really hard that list to put them in the right order. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's going to have so much discussion because Bobby Fischer could be number number two as well I'm going to say number one uh, on that list but I, I'm sure Bobby Fischer had a game in this precise line with the white pieces and um, I think this is considered to be slightly better for white but a solid choice for black d5 David really solid and uh, the main line here as far as I know uh, okay these play the players are uh, kind of choosing the moves now really quickly but uh, after black takes here after a trade of pawns in the center white castles and the whole idea is to quickly deliver a check and it's actually a bit reminiscent of the previous game where magnus carlson's king got caught in the center of the board he's taken with the knight instead but uh, either way it's all about the bishop landing on this diagonal and maybe white blowing open the center while he is while he is ahead in development so uh yeah i'm still in the days here but i really like the opening choice from Farouche. i think this gives him the best bet of winning no guarantees in a must-win situation, even against, uh, well, in any scenario, let alone against the best in the world. But he has caught Magnus slightly off guard, uh, forced him to think, and he will get attacking chances. It's going to be imbalanced, at least. Uh, no kind of boring, symmetrical endgames. Uh, this one is going to give White chances later in the game. 100% agree. Uh, and White has very easy moves to play as well. I mean, White can castle, White can check the Black King. Uh, these moves just natural, and it's nice having easy moves because you can save your time uh, for the middle game and uh, you can see that um, Magnus took on d7 with his knight that's not ideal because the knight on d7 is a very badly placed piece actually as well but it does it's the most solid choice because you keep everything guarded here but can you check and go queen e2 this is this is the first thing
this game because uh, he had many chances. Quite nervy, quite a nervy game this one. You can see that the tension is very high. I mean, it's been a roller coaster of uh, uh, sort of up and downs here, and uh, they both had chances, but in the end, defending was just a bit too hard. He's still got to win it. What move are we on now? 440? <laughs> yeah. It's like 8,036. Yeah. It's four in the morning, and uh, yeah, I mean, it must be 100 and something now. 121. 20, yeah. 21. Wow. This might be the last few moves though, because I think if the White King just, uh, okay, I was gonna say slides across one square, but uh, he's going to find safety soon, and the White Pawn should promote. This might be the clincher. You cannot give any checks, because remember the block and the hit on the Black King. Okay, now the Queen's behind the Pawn. The Pawn is pinned, you can't promote, but the White King's gonna run to safety. Still a bit nervy, it seems, with the White. It, but it's so hard to know where do you put your King to escape the checks? You could have put it in the corner. On H8. Yeah, I think you're right, Yvanka. That might just have been winning. And Magnus Carlsen, I've seen it before. There was a famous game against Gregorians. Yeah, this but yeah, there's nothing There's nothing to be done here. Yeah, so some stalemates. I was going to say he saved some stalemates before, but the Black King is not trapped in the corner. He's trying to check. Don't take the Queen. It's poisoned. That would be stalemate and a draw. The problem is you don't have to take the Queen. And Magnus, he's going to resign. Two Queens are better than one. It's over. And this means, everyone, we 